I'm now going to teach you a process that takes about two minutes a day, costs absolutely nothing, is going to help you get better at almost anything. You might be a little skeptical right now. Two minutes a day, costs nothing, help me get better at almost anything? Well, that sounds too good to be true. I'm going to make a second prediction. Half of the people I teach this to, you're going to quit doing this within two weeks. And you will not quit doing it because it does not work. You will quit doing it because it does work. You see, what I'm going to teach you next is incredibly easy to understand. It's just incredibly difficult to do. This is called the daily question process. Now, how does this work? Here's what I want you to do. I want you to get out an Excel spreadsheet. On one column, I want you to write a list of questions, questions that represent what is most important in your life. Could be friends, family, colleagues. Every question must be answered with a yes, a no, or a number. A yes is recorded as a one, a no is recorded as a zero, or a number, whatever that number is. And then seven boxes across, one for every day of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Fill it out every day. And at the end of the week, that Excel spreadsheet will give you a little report card. I've been doing this for years. And, and let me warn you, that report card at the end of the week might not be quite as pretty as that corporate values plaque you got stuck up there on the wall. When you do this every day, you know what you learn very quickly. Life is real easy to talk. Life is real difficult to live. Now, I'm going to share some of my daily questions. Mine are not intended to be yours. The idea of this exercise is you write your own questions every day. For example, what is one of my questions every day? How many times yesterday did you try to prove that you were right when it was not worth it? I've almost never scored a zero in my whole life. Kind of hard for that old professor not to be right all the time. How many angry or destructive comments did you make about people yesterday? Well, if I want to be a good person, why am I stabbing people in the back? How many minutes did you walk? How many push-ups did you do? How many sit-ups did you do? Did you say or do something nice for your wife? Did you say or do something nice for your son, for your daughter, for your son-in-law, for your grandkids? How many minutes did you write? Well, a friend of mine, Jim Moore, has been doing this for years, and when he began doing it, one of his daily questions was, are you currently updated on your physical examination? The first 90 days he did this, he said, no, every day for 90 days. No, no, no. After 90 days, he said, this is embarrassing. It's embarrassing. I, I got to get the dumb exam or quit asking a question. It's embarrassing. I got the dumb exam. What did the doctor say? You have cancer. Now, he's going to be fine. That was many years ago. The doctor also said, had you waited seven more months, you would be dead. He knew he should have got a physical exam. He's not a stupid man. Chief learning officer of three multi-billion dollar companies. He knew he should have done it, but he didn't do it. In my classes, I ask people, how many of you have ever put off getting a physical exam before and told yourself, I'm getting that exam after I go on my healthy foods diet. I'm getting that exam after I begin my exercise program. Well, pretty much half the class raises their hand. And then I say, did you really trick the doctor with that strategy? Well, I was teaching at the University of Michigan. This guy raised his hand. I said, sir, did you trick the doctor with that strategy? He looked at me and goes, I am the doctor. <laughs> well, why don't we ask these questions? We're afraid of the answers. If you have the courage to write down the behavior that's most important in your life and the discipline to do this every day, you're going to get a lot better. Now, I pay a woman named Kate to call me on the phone every day. She called me today. She's going to call me tomorrow. She called me yesterday. She calls me every day. Every day, she listens to me read these questions that I wrote and provide the answers that I wrote every day. Now, someone asked me, why do you pay a woman to call you on the phone every day? Don't you know the theory about how to change behavior? I wrote the theory about how to change behavior. That's why I pay a woman to call me every day. I know how hard this is. I have over 12 million frequent flyer miles just on American Airlines. That's an excuse to be a bad father, a bad husband, out of shape. How many excuses do I get with the 12 million miles? Many excuses. Excuses don't help. It's hard for me. It's hard for you. It's hard for all of us. Why do I pay a woman named Kate to call me on the phone every day, just to listen to me read questions I wrote and provide answers I wrote? My name is Marshall Goldsmith. I'm the world's top-ranked executive coach. I am too cowardly to do this on my own and too undisciplined to do this on my own. Why do I pay someone to call me on the phone every day? My name is Marshall Goldsmith. I need help, and it's okay. Now, let me help you. Next steps, get out that Excel spreadsheet. 
Write down those questions. Every day, test yourself. If you have the courage and discipline to do this on your own every day, knock yourself out, do it. If you notice that you're quitting, you make excuses like, uh, uh, I got too busy, didn't have time. It takes two minutes a day, you weren't too busy. I, I got bored, you didn't get bored. Why did you quit? It's hard to face the reality of our own lives every day. If you have the courage and discipline to do this by yourself, do it. If you do not have the courage and discipline to do this by yourself, which most of us don't, like me, get somebody else to help you and get over that shame and pride thing and say, hey, I need help, it's okay, it's okay. If you try this, you're gonna find out it will help you get better at just about anything, and it doesn't take a lot of time, it just takes a lot of courage. Hey guys, Dr. Axe here, wellness physician, nutritionist, and founder of DrAxe.com. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you about the difference between synthetic vitamins and whole food-based vitamins and supplements. And listen, there is a big difference. And I wanna give you this warning. If you are taking the wrong type of supplements, especially the wrong type of calcium, it can actually increase your risk of a heart attack and stroke. So, and here's the reason why this works. A lot of these synthetic vitamins and supplements today are made from ground limestone and rocks because there are minerals and rocks. It's the cheapest place to get them or also from ground mineral salts. And the type of minerals in there are not natural for your body. Just to let you know, there are a lot of different types of minerals. Even in calcium, there's calcium carbonate, calcium melate, calcium citrate, calcium chelate. There are all these different forms of calcium and calcium carbonate is the form of calcium found in a lot of these cheap synthetic vitamins today and your body doesn't recognize it. In fact, one of the most prestigious medical journals in the world, the British Medical Journal found that if you are taking a synthetic calcium supplement, it can increase your risk of a heart attack and stroke by over 30%. And so, and that's because another journal said only five to 30% of these synthetic vitamins like the calcium is being absorbed into your bloodstream. So listen, when you're buying vitamins and supplements, you get what you pay for. You absolutely wanna be investing in getting higher quality rather than the synthetic. So again, synthetic, your body recognizes it more as a toxin, not near much of it is absorbed. And you might've paid for half of, you know, for a cheap vitamin, you might've paid half the price, but you're gonna pay the price with your health. And also you're absorbing 5% of it. So it really is an effect. And here's the difference between synthetic and food-based supplements. Synthetic is just that it's been taken from an unnatural source for your body. A whole food based supplement is done in two ways. It's either taken right from a food, so for instance, broccoli, you're taking the calcium from there, or else the way that the top companies do today, as well as the, the supplements that I personally take, use, and recommend to patients, are created through fermentation, so through probiotics. So what you can do is, if you're creating a whole food based vitamin C supplement, you can take vitamin C from broccoli, which is a very small amount, but then you can ferment it, just like you turn milk into kefir, and those probiotics and enzymes help support the growth and the creation of more vitamin C. It makes it more absorbable. And that's how the top companies, whole food based companies, is they do a combination of extracting vitamins and minerals from plants and then fermenting them. And that's how you get real whole food based vitamins and supplements. And only the top brands in the world like Axe Naturals, Mega Food, Garden of Life, those are the only three companies I know that actually do the whole food based fermentation in their vitamins and supplements. So again, scrap and get rid of these synthetic vitamins today, load up on whole food based vitamins and supplements. And if you wanna learn more, hey, check out my website, draxe.com. That's D-R-A-X-E.com. In fact, I've got a great article on there that's titled, Why Some of Your Supplements Are Made Are As Bad As Shower Scum. And so really going through what to look for in your vitamins. So you search supplements on there, you'll find that. Also, hey, if you wanna learn more about the best natural remedies, herbs, and plant-based medicine, hey, stick here and subscribe. Our modern diet is seriously lacking in nutrition. We eat processed, prepackaged food far removed from the original source. We strip it of nutrients, slap it in plastic, wrap it in cardboard, then deep fry it, nuke it, punch it a couple of times, and get nothing but calories out of it when we're finished. We know we're not getting enough vitamins and minerals, so we go out and buy a multivitamin. There's a problem though. Where do the vitamins and minerals in that tablet come from? Unfortunately, most multivitamins are as processed, prepackaged, and lacking in anything resembling nutrition as the food we're hoping they'll save us from. Not good. For thousands of years, our vitamins and minerals came from our food, and mainly plant food at that. Plants pull minerals from the soil and create vitamins with the energy from the sun, combining these nutrients with organic compounds like enzymes. Modern multivitamins are typically synthetic, cooked up in a lab to be similar to the vitamins in plants, but not quite the same. They're cheap to make, so they get used over real vitamins. Most multivitamins that claim to be natural are just synthetics mixed with a bit of vitamins from fruits and vegetables. Even those that say they're raw are actually synthetics fermented with fruits and vegetables. Aren't inorganic synthetics just as good, you may ask? 
Not even close. Our bodies evolved to recognize the vitamins and minerals in our food, the ones plants combined with organics. There's a reason we don't get everything from beakers, test tubes, and cold star. It's just not the same. When the body comes face to face with something it doesn't recognize, it treats this foreign thing as a toxin. What does the body do with toxins? There are two options. Flush it now or store it to flush later. Either way, that's your money down the drain. And if your body decides to store them, some nasty side effects crop up like calcification of tissues, arthritis, and weight gain since the body likes to lock those pesky toxins away in fat cells where they can't do much damage. There's got to be a better way. If your multivitamin still leaves you feeling drained, sore, or in a fog, it's time to make a change back to what nature intended. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to VitaTree, welcome to the family. This is really important that you've enjoyed and embarked on this journey with me and with the VitaTree company because we really are truly where health is at, where vitality is at, and you will never look or feel the same again. So I also have a great demonstration, which I really want you to pay attention to. This will show you exactly the difference between the whole food nutrients in our VitaFruits and Vita Veggies and some of the synthetic ones that are out there. So the synthetic multivitamins, the synthetic singular vitamins that are out there, the vitamin C, the vitamin E, the calciums, all of those things that you were exposed to that you didn't even know were bad for you. I'm going to show you the difference now, so please take a look. Now I'll show you a great demonstration about the VitaFruits and VitaVeggies. These are whole food vitamins, why they're so different compared to the chemical multivitamins out there on the market. So this can contain 85 to 95% filler per tablet, which is not good for your digestive tract and often contains magnesium stearate. Now magnesium stearate, we have a complete other video all about magnesium stearate, which you really need to watch as part of your training to know why we never want to have this ingredient in our vitamins or mineral supplements. You may also be familiar with the hard tablets, the multivitamins that are out there, and we can put this into a little bit of vinegar. Now vinegar simulates our digestive juices in our stomach, and we can watch this for the next hour or so and nothing will happen. So the question is, how well is this really being absorbed into our body? It's chemically derived from petrochemicals, not something healthy that our cells recognize. Long-term studies are showing that taking these hard tablets and as well the synthetic multivitamins actually leads to cancer, which is one of the things that we all want to prevent. Now in a capsule form, we also can get different multivitamins, maybe it's minerals, it's supplements, and if we mix this, we can see, mixing this one into water now, even if I try to mix this, I can see that it's not mixing at all. Now, the question is, how well is our body actually absorbing it? Well, the answer is probably not so much, and this is why you may have very bright fluorescent urine, and that's an indication that your body is not absorbing, especially those B vitamins. Now, let's take a look at our Vita Fruits and Vita Veggies. So, when I mix our Vita Fruits, and again, this is into some water and our Vita Veggies, and I'm going to stir these, and you can see that right away, you don't see any white powder, you don't see any filler. And I'll do another one here. And when I mix this, you'll start to see the vibrant colors from those antioxidants that are naturally occurring in the Vita Fruits and Vita Veggies. And that's telling you, even you can smell, I can smell the fruits and veggies and that natural ingredient composition within the formulations, giving you those natural antioxidants that your body is craving for. Your cells literally drink up these nutrients, the DNA from the fruits and vegetables, the superfoods that are naturally occurring, and we can see that vibrant color coming out just in water. So I challenge you, do this with your own vitamins at home and see if you can see the vibrancy and smell the fruits and vegetables in your vitamins. Quite likely you're not, and that's why you need to switch over to your Vita Fruits and Vita Veggies today. So now you can see, after these sitting just for a few minutes in water, the vibrant colors, and this is what your cells are drinking up, all of those very important antioxidants, those anti-cancer effects, the benefits for your cells at the cellular level, as compared to the synthetic ones that are just sitting here, meaning that they sit like a rock in your stomach, they pass through your digestive tract, and they don't have the benefits that you need. Vita fruits and Vita veggies, whole food nutrients, the Vita Tree difference. Now that you have discovered the Vita Tree difference, please go out there, share it with your family members, with your entire family, all of your friends. Share the good news about the Vita Tree difference, why we're so different, why this needs to be a part of your life to be the absolute healthiest you.